Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face using pro slash celebrity makeup artist tips. So pretty much I have some notes in front of me here just on tips that I've jotted down from my favorite celebrity makeup artist. There's actually a good amount of these tips that I already incorporate and use in my makeup routines, but there's a lot of things that are pretty new to me and I think that that's cool. Like even though I'm happy with my makeup routine, I feel like I'm always learning. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. So if you're interested, then just keep on watching. Okay, so today is definitely another one of those days where if you hear noise in the back, I am just so sorry. The TV's loud. My dog is doing something weird. It, there's just a lot going on. But anyways, let's let's get into it. Apparently celebrity makeup artists do not like to use primers, so we're not gonna use a primer today. The ones that I follow closely, if they do use a primer, it's usually in place of a moisturizer. Long story short, they just like to use a very hydrating base, so that is what we're gonna be doing. I already have my Clinique Moisture Surge on my skin. Now I'm just gonna go in with Smashbox Primer Water and just use this to add even more of a hydrating situation. And today I'm gonna to be using my Dior Face and Body Foundation because I love this foundation. So I'm just gonna focus this foundation in the center of the face. Celebrity makeup artists use very little foundation actually, which makes sense. I mean, they're working on celebrities, which majority of them have beautiful skin, so they don't need much, but you know. We'll see how this goes. The whole approach to this, I imagine, is just less is more. One thing I know for sure is those celebrity makeup artists, if they have the time, they spend a lot of time blending. Okay, so I think I'm blended. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Cover FX Power Play Concealer. They always use very little, and they usually only concentrate it where it's needed. So I'm just gonna use very little, and I will still, you know, highlight my cupid's bow. They also love to use their fingers. They like to use their fingers for a lot of things. And that's mainly to warm up the products. And another tip for your concealer that I forgot about that celebrity makeup artists do is they don't bring the concealer all the way up to the under eye area, especially with like eye looks. And that's just to kind of prevent as much creasing as possible because of course, if there's no product there, then you can't crease, so. Okay, and from what I see, very little powder is used. The whole idea is to only set in areas that you know you'll need to powder. So I'm taking my Hourglass powder because that's another recommendation. You wanna use something very, very fine. And this powder is very like finely milled, so this will be perfect. And I mean, I love this powder anyway because it's not, it doesn't look like powder once you dust it all away or really press it into the skin. And for areas that I do get oily, I'm gonna use my Cover FX Matte Setting Powder. And this is also a very finely milled powder, so this will work just fine. I'm going just on my chin because this is a very oily area for me sometimes. I don't know, it just depends on the day, I guess. All right, and now for contouring. I feel like most people know this, but you always wanna use like a cool tone according to your complexion. So I love using, as always, my Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Truffle. This is like a really nice, cool, neutral shade for me. But a tip that I've seen is actually <laughs> Starting your contour kind of lower than you would. This feels so weird, but... And then what you want to do is actually blend this upwards, <laughs> which makes sense. I mean, you definitely don't want to drag it down. You don't want the beard effect. Just starting at that low is so weird. Ooh. Okay, now I get it. Now I get it. I haven't even fully blended that out, but can you see that? Can, can you guys see that? You know what, though? It makes sense that this will work for me because I do kind of have, like, chubby cheeks. I don't know. Does this look good? Wow, okay, that's intense. Okay, so that is new to me, but I am really liking that. All right, and for me, I don't have like a large forehead, but I will just go through and take a little bit on the forehead, just a little bit so that everything is kind of like uniform. But if you have like a larger forehead, by all means, like, you know, go in. All right, and I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit going in with a smaller brush, and I do this all the time, but I'm really only gonna take it right here. A little bit underneath here, I guess to give the button nose effect. Maybe I don't wanna do that. 
All right, so obviously a lot of creams are used for looks like these, so I'm just gonna go in with my little NARS multiple stick and orgasm and just pop this on the cheeks. I actually really love this product. I just don't use it a lot. And something that I actually just learned is your highlight should not come past here. It should not come past like the corner, the outer corner of your eye. Yeah, I've been kind of messing up with that. This is actually such a nice product. And one of my favorite celebrity makeup artists, Sir John, he loves to use like liquids and then powders over top. So I'm just taking my Cover FX, their perfect light highlighting powder, and just taking this over top of what we just put down. And this highlighter is so subtle, but like, I mean, I'm sure you guys can see that it just, it's so skin-like. All right, now taking my Becca Bronzer in Ipanema Sun, I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow. And I see this all the time, whether it's a blush, a highlighter, or a bronzer. You know, I just see some makeup artists just putting this all over the lid. I imagine they usually do stuff like this when they just don't have the time. So this is like a really easy way to have a pulled together look, I guess. It kind of helps that I kind of have a little bit of discoloration on my eyelids, so. The bronzer is just kind of going over top of that color and blending in with it almost. All right, now I'm just gonna take my little NARS um, orgasm blush. I have the minis in everything, but I'm just gonna take this blush and kind of apply it less on my cheek and more towards like my eyeball. So like right under here because this gives like a really youthful look. Okay, and now taking that same Becca bronzer, I'm going to go on the lower lash line and blend this out. And a tip that I see is to actually not go like directly under, but almost go like on that natural kind of crease. And I forgot why, but I mean, I guess it looks cute. Okay, and then taking my Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil, this is in Boundless Bisque. I'm just going to open up the eyes with this. And this is probably one of my favorite things to do with my eyes. Just putting that light color in there just really like wakes you up. Okay, and now for something that I don't know why I haven't tried. I've seen it for a long time now. I don't know why I haven't tried it, but we're trying it today. And that is soap brows. So I have my little Neutrogena glycerin soap here. I do not feel like going to the sink. So I'm just gonna spray my little spoolie with Fix Plus. And I guess from what I see, you just kind of like do this just kind of rub it and just apply that through your brows i guess what do you guys think i like it i mean i guess i would say this does a little bit more than your average brow gel they're they're on there and they are there to stay so I could get down with that. All right, and now for another tip that I learned from Sir John. He actually likes to put an eye cream on your lips if you're using like a matte lip product. So I'm just gonna do that. Just taking this little, what is this? This Philosophy Purity eye cream. Now I'm just gonna take my MAC lip pencil in Spice and line my lips. And now I'm just gonna go on my Fenty Beauty lipstick. This is in the shade Single. And just put that in the center. I love these lipsticks, love. All right, now I'm just gonna set my face before mascara using my usual Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. All right, and really quick, I'm just gonna take my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and apply this to my lashes. And this is the finished look. So some tips that I will definitely do again are the soap brows, layering the cream and the powder highlight, and also the way I contoured today. I really, really like the way that looks. Moving forward, I'll definitely be incorporating that into my future looks. Also, while I was getting ready, these came in the mail. So if you guys don't know, these are Desi Perkins' second collaboration with Key Australia. These are the High Key Minis in their blue light technology sunglasses so it's supposed to protect you from potentially harmful blue lights that come from like our phones ipads computers all that good stuff when i saw them i was like oh they're they come in gold okay sold so i am very happy with these these are super cute i thought they'd be smaller but i don't know maybe my face is just small all right, let me take these off. Anyways, that is everything for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, and check out my other videos while you're here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Zeus.
Oh, we have a package. 